We see um, from the wastewater treatment plan, uh, when uh, I did my research there in 2013, I analyzed the effluent of the wastewater to see if there are uh, Georgia and Capsoporidium. And a lot, thousands of cysts were found in the effluent of the wastewater treatment plant. And this effluent, because they didn't, they were, they, 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 they were mainly using disinfectant to treat the parasites. But these parasites are very, very resistant to disinfection, like chlorine, ozonation, and so on and so forth. So this parasite, so what I, I, I thought was, well, these parasites are being uh, flushed into the river. What about the animals in the river, the fish and everything we get from the river? Now I am doing, trying to examine the mussels that are in the r uh, along the river uh, to see whether there are parasites inside. And for the few months of my research, I found that there are lots of parasites in the mussel. So any animal or anything you take from the riverside, you make sure if it is an animal to eat, you make sure you cook it very well. Because these parasites, they are very, very resistant. And they cause a lot of havoc to our digestive system. So um, uh, in uh, uh, research, again, was being carried with the same pro protozoan parasite in Australia, North America, and Europe. And in Australia, 46%, 46.7% of these parasites uh, uh, cause uh, outbreak. And then 306 were from North America, and then 16.1% from Europe. 